In this video I would like to talk about creating a custom refresh image. Why would you want to do this? And what's the difference between a custom and a normal refresh image? Well the main difference is that with a custom refresh image you can also restore all of your Windows 7 applications. Because in the standard refresh you lose all of those applications. Windows does indicate to you what applications it has actually removed from the system, but you have to reinstall all of those again. And if, if you're like me and you'll have tens, twenty, thirty odd Windows 7 applications installed, you're going to have to go through and restore all of the, those applications again from scratch. Whereas with a custom refresh image, it's all there for you to use as soon as the refresh is finished. It's a very useful feature. Now let's just show you how you'd set that up. The first thing is obviously to get your machine into a state where you're ready to do the refresh. So I've installed Windows 8. I've installed a few extra applications here. Metro applications, Wikipedia, Sky News and Google. And I've installed a couple of Windows 7 applications here, VLC Media and FileZilla. Now what I want now is to create a refresh image which will take me back to this state whenever I refresh. Why would I want to refresh? One of the main reasons I suppose would be if you've got a virus or something or you found your machine running very slow and you'd like to go back to a particular point in time. So here I am, I've got my particular point in time, I'm happy with the installation in this state and now I want to create my refresh image, custom refresh image. So we go to the desktop what we need to do first is to get up an elevated command prompt or uh, admin command prompt and I'd also just like to show you that my machine has two disks here C disk where Windows 8 is installed and a backup disk here D so the backup disk D is where we're going to put the refresh image So the first thing we need to do is, is to go to that disk in good old DOS and we can make a directory. I've always been a fan of command line but that's probably because I've got a Unix and Linux background. I beg your pardon, that should be, that should be D, shouldn't it? So I've created now an empty directory on my backup disk called RecImage. Now on the command line there's a command that we type in which is RecImage hyphen create image and then we have to specify the directory where we want to put the image. Oh yeah, <laughs> can't spell, I beg your pardon, stick in an E shall we? Okay so it goes away and creates the snapshot. Uh, that will, as you can see, go pretty quickly. Now, you mustn't lose interest in this and think that it's failed or it's hanging because after it creates the snapshot it then goes on to the next stage which is actually creating the image. So there you are, you've got the creating snapshot 100% and now we're going on to writing the image 1% and it does stick at 1% for quite a while. It does tell you that in brackets but even so you still think it's taken a long time. So if you look down the bottom now, the time is 19.01. So I'll just pause the video now and we'll come back to it when that 1% has actually decided to move. I'll just close that, make it smaller there, and we'll pause it there. Okay. 
the writing image has now gone on to 2% just this moment so that's taken a good 25 minutes to get to that stage so that's why I said you know don't worry when you think it's stuck on 1% just go and get yourself a, a coffee or something and then you can come back later now it should start to go a bit faster now and we'll come back to it now in the future we'll come back to it when when it's completed and I'll show you the results of that okay so now we've written the image 100% register the image and now we're ready to go now what I want to show you now is just how you can check whether that image is being used or not so what you can do is type in rec image slash show current and that comes up and shows us that it is actually going to use a created image hard disk one partition one rec image well what does that mean well can easily find out if we get up the disk management tool you can see I've got two disks here so disk 0 is C where Windows 8 is installed disk 1 is the backup disk so we know that the hard disk 1 here refers to the backup disk Partition 1, well there's only one partition on this disk, so we know it's that partition. And rec image is the directory. So that's proved to us that if we now do a refresh, then we are going to use that image there which we've created. If you, if, if you, you want to do just a normal refresh, by the way, you can do this command which says rec image slash well actually actually you can do this if you, if you do this to get the commands up you can see there's a deregister option there so if you, if you do rec image slash deregister and then you do the command again to show current you'll see it comes up with an error code you haven't got a custom recovery image so that means now if we do a refresh we'll just get the stat bog standard refresh which I showed you in a previous video and in order to get that back again we can set the directory up again there by using the set current option of the rec image command and just to show you again, rec image slash show current and again it shows you it's going to use that image it's important for you to check this if you decide you want to do a, a refresh it's important that you check that the you have the image registered because in the actual refresh process there's nothing in there which tells you that you're actually using that image so so from, from a user's point of view you can't tell from doing the refresh whether you're doing a standard refresh or a custom refresh you won't know until you get into the system and have a look afterwards there's nothing in the uh, GUI interface when you're doing the refresh which indicates to you that you're using a custom image so you've got to do this from the command line here to prove that you will be using that custom image just to show you what that looks like go to our D drive our rec image directory and it always creates a file, it's always the same name, custom refresh.wim. So that's the file that's going to be used. Now in the second part of this video now I'd just like to show you how to refresh the image from this custom image. And I just need to do a little bit of setting up first, so I'll be back in a tick. Okay, now that we have created our custom refresh image. Let's see how we go about going back to that image at a later time. First of all, since we took that image, um, I've added a couple of extra Metro applications, which are the BBC News and the Calculator. 
had a couple of extra Windows 7 programs, Earth and View and TrueCrypt. Wikipedia, Sky News, Google, VLC and FileZilla are all part of the custom image. Of course there's nothing to stop me taking another custom image now if I, if I was at a stage where I thought yes this is how I want to go back then I can just take another custom image. I can either uh, overwrite the one I've created or just create another one. But anyway, I've decided now I want to go back to the custom image that I did take. And just to prove to you again that I have still got some documents and some pictures as well there. And just to show you again in the programs, just to prove I've got FileZilla, TrueCrypt, VLC, and Earth and View installed. Okay, so we do it exactly the same way as we do a normal refresh of an image. We go to the PC settings, general, and down to refresh your PC without affecting your files. So all this, what I'm doing now is exactly the same as I did for the normal refresh. And the message here is exactly the same. This is where I said to you earlier on that at this stage there's no indication that we're restoring from a custom custom image. I think this is the only thing that lets this really good feature down. We don't there's no proof if you like here that we're we're doing that. It's not until we check all the files at the end that we know that we've used the custom image. Or we can be sure that we've used the custom image. Although as I showed you earlier by doing the rec image slash show current command you can you can see that that's what you are using. But what I'm trying to say is there's no indication here that that's what's happening. The process here appears to be exactly the same as if you were just refreshing your PC. So I'll click next and the preparing comes up. Right, this will take a few minutes and your PC will restart. Click refresh. Now you notice that I'm... Actually, I'm, maybe I should just correct myself there because it... If you, if you remember on the last one, it actually asked me for the CD... Uh, CD to add some files. I assume it must have those files already on in the uh, refresh image so it didn't ask me for that so that's a, that is like um, a sort of an indication that it, it's using the custom image although it doesn't actually say that to you okay I'll just close that down a bit now Now again I'll just leave this going for a bit and we'll come back to it when it goes a bit further. Okay, the custom refresh has now completed and now I'd just like to show you the results of that. From the Metro interface I still have as expected the three Metro applications that were originally installed and also the two Windows 7 applications which were also part of the custom refresh when we took that. Now because it's a refresh and not a reset even the Metro 8 applications which we installed after the custom refresh are still there. So the only things that we've lost if we go to the desktop and check the removed applications are Earth and View and TrueCrypt. So those are the two applications which the Windows 7 applications which we added after the custom refresh and that's the only thing which we're now missing on this. As you can see our documents are still there and also our pictures are still there. 
I hope that's been able to clarify any thing thoughts you may have had about the difference between refresh and custom refresh. As I say, the custom refresh I think is a very very useful tool to have. In the, my final video in the series of re restores, I'm going to talk about restoring from a system image, which again is a very useful feature in Windows 8. So I'll see you in the next video.